This is Al Gag. Uh, most of you are probably familiar with Al. Al's been working with us, had a, has had a very good relationship for us for about uh, close to 30 years now. At least. He's a great, well-known plug builder, well-known surf fisherman, boat fisherman, whatever. Here's Al. How you doing out there? This is a great show. The Connecticut Surf Casters put on a very, very... Uh, I mean, it's pure fishing. You're not going to find a chamois cough guy or selling windows or anything here. It's all plugs, lures, rods, and uh, from some very reputable companies. So you should come down and you should give this a shot because it's unbelievable. Really, really nice. And I, like he said, I've been with this club for 30, probably 30 plus years, and uh, I can't say enough about them. They're one of the best in the state. All right, give me a quick product pitch here too, Al. What are you selling? What are you? Uh, what are some of the new things you've come out with? Here you go. We actually started now with the new skirted stuff. Uh, we uh, we put that on here. There's a lot of more squid in the water now than ever, so that's what we did. We also went to owner, and uh, I designed a hook for them, and it's not in their catalog, but it's for us. And if you look at that thing, you you know a beefy hook when you see it. That's a nice heavy-duty hook there. Uh, yeah, that's not going to open up on you or anything. So you're fishing heavy current and stuff. This is what you want. Plus, we came out with the eggs. Uh, the eggs, we sell them all rigged. We also have uh, spare tails with them. So people don't have to do anything to it. Just pull out of the package, and you can fish it right away. And we have a very big array of colors of uh, all kinds of the whippet fish bodies now. So we hand paint all those, and uh, that's why we can, you know, we can, we can stay with it, the trend, you know. Thank you, Al. I was casting one of your small, like what is it, three-inch whippet fish, yeah. something like that, down in uh, Cancun in the spring. Went down there for my sister's wedding, and I'm just random casting into the surf. I hooked a tarpon about as long as me. 15-pound <laughs> test line doesn't hold it long though. Two jumps, watch the thing go off down the beach. Oh yeah, you, you can end up water skiing in them waters with this stuff. You know, it's uh, it's pretty funny. It only takes so much on a plane. You're trying to hide lures and hooks in your suitcase, you know, because you, you can't take it on the plane. You got to take a collapsible rod so you really got the odds going against you on a beach like that because you don't know what's going to happen you know it happened to me it happened to me in mexico I, same thing same thing just wave bye bye and it was nice and that was it yeah unless you got spare line with you you know <laughs> all right thank you al and thank you for coming thank you thanks for having me me and Chris from Tsunami and Black Hall Outfitters. Sir, yeah, we got you right here. So uh, Tommy's got the uh, the Saltex 6000, I believe, in front of you right now. These guys that were uh, highly anticipated and on the market, the 4000s, which Tom's grabbing right now, have just came back out as well. Those are in stores as we speak. We also have black available in the 6000 in some dealers. 4000s you should see in probably another eight weeks or so uh, at the store. Uh, rave reviews so far. The reels are really are built fantastic, and uh, they've been tested everywhere from the Sea of Cortez to, to the Florida Keys to up here in New England. Everyone that should have to have a reel in their hands to find out if it was going to get beat up did, and they really uh, took all of that uh, all of that input and made a quality product from it. Here we go. Here's uh, Gabe Revisa from Gravity Tackle, and he's come out with a new product just a few years ago that's really taken off. I've been hearing a lot of great feedback about these products, both uh, soft plastics themselves, which are known for catching a lot of big bass, to your hooks here. If you can tell us a little bit about your products here. And so I got uh, 13 and a half inch baits. Uh, a bunch of them change colors, which is exciting because the fish love them. Uh, coming out with some smaller baits for mid-spring, so keep an eye out on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, for, for, for right now, we've got new jig heads with 80 Mustad 2X hooks. Uh, made them specifically for the boat guys, guys from Fishers, Block. And uh, yeah, we also got Titan hooks, um, more for the kayak guys, surf casting guys. Uh, the bait swims a little bit better when you're closer to the, to the shore when you're casting. The bait seems to have more action on them. 
But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to a great 2020. And uh, here's to the Connecticut Surfcasters. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Gabe. Good to have you here. Thank you. All right, here we are with New England Dive Shop. And you might be asking, what are they doing at a surf casting show? Well, a lot of people, myself included, have been getting uh, more into wetsuit fishing over the last few years, where instead of just trying to pick a rock that has access to deeper water and, uh, or hope to cast that far from shore, we actually swim out to the rocks in wetsuits and fish from there. You can get right up to those deep holes and edges. So here we go. What, how can you, so, yeah, you guys have been serve the wetsuit fishermen? Come and looking at the wetsuits, and uh, we, we stock a lot of wetsuits right in our store. We just expanded into a new facility about two years ago. So you come in, you can try them on, you can see how they feel. We deal with lots of different stretchiness, so it's nice and comfortable for you to try and be able to get out in the water and be comfortable in it all day. And we also sell lots of boots and socks to the different, spirit, uh, different surf casters. Uh, we also have a bait and tackle section and kayak section ourselves too. So we're not just a scuba shop anymore, we're branching off into more of a water sports shop. Thank you. As you said, they also have a line of Hobie kayaks, which are becoming a lot more popular, too. There are pedal kayaks instead of just the paddle kayaks. So uh, that way you can fish hands-free or uh, whatever. If you feel more comfortable pedaling long distance, which is easier for a lot of people than paddling. The guys from ODM, uh, they've been waiting all day for this interview here. So they're going to talk to us a little bit about ODM rods, what makes them different, and uh, why it's good for you. Thanks again to the uh, Connecticut Surfcasters for having us. Uh, very happy to be here. Uh, we have all of our uh, our new release rods uh, for the year. Uh, ODM is all about uh, the lifestyle, the experience, and uh, bringing an, an excellent product to the surfcasters. You know, in the in the striper surf. So, really honored and 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 a, and a pleasure to have us back again this year. Thank you. Hey, thank you. It's good to have you here. Here we got Ron and Lenny from Z Bass. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what new products you're coming up with? Anything new for uh, this year? Well, we've been taking our same existing brand that we had for a while because guys have been fishing us since we were born in 2005. So ever since 2005, um, the parts are all interchangeable too and we're able to service our customers with that. Um, we're working on more different colors, different features to the reels, but we're also going to be coming out with a smaller reel. So we're working on that, lightening up the load. But what's just as important is how you maintain the reel. So what we've done with that is we've came out with our own lubrication. We call it Z-Lube, brand new. We work with a U.S. manufacturer of marine grease. It's environmental friendly compared to most other lubes out there. There's no zinc in it as well. It's got a tremendous clean factor, but a lot of guys don't like um, a, a, a bearing grease or anything. It's too thick. They also will switch over then to a royal purple, which we feel is just too thin. There's no other option. We created something with the perfect viscosity, made to our standards. So this way, and it also has an anti-corrosion uh, and a rust prohibitor in it too. So a lot of new things are going to come our way. We're still here making everything here in the USA and doing it right down in Stratford, Connecticut. We invite everybody to come by, see us, see what we got, see what we can do for you. Thank you, Ron. And just for a second, we're going to make Lenny say something. Lenny, what's up? <laughs> Nothing. Um, we also, uh, this past year, uh, we got back into, back in 2019, we got back into doing the, the right-hand retrieve reels. So uh, if you reel with your right hand, we were able to do those reels. Also, our sweatshirt and hat line is out this past year. That's all new, um, which you can get different colors. You can get this in blue, red, or uh, gray, as far as the, the Z is concerned, with a black uh, background. Another thing that's new that's been happening is service. Service is not really new, but it's something we've been doing, and we've improved our time tremendously. So we went from what used to be a two-month service program to literally sometimes down in a day or two to a week. And um, it's improved. Our, cu our customer communications is fantastic. So, you know, I'd say look us up online. Come visit us. The door is always open for everybody. Give us a little heads up. This way we're not, a, if we're at a machine shop or something, we can know to be in the office for you. See what we have and come experience z -Bass. Thank you. As I'm finishing my cookie here, hope I don't get crumbs in the microphone. I'm interviewing the guys from Z-Belt. New product for a surf belt that also uh, helps those with back problems. 
Notice how the Velcro here is infinitely adjustable, so I could put it a little bit looser after another cookie. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about your product? So my name is Luke Zanosko with Z-Belt. We've been in the field for about two years now. We wanted to develop an all-encompassing surf belt that could carry all your gear for a trip out. So the idea behind the belt is we have a smaller section of two-inch nylon webbing sewed onto a, a larger framework that is a lumbar support belt. This part is for your tools. Um, so we would keep things on it like uh, your pliers, your knife, a flashlight, maybe a fish gripper, whatever you want to carry with you. The larger uh, support belt on here is for your plug bag. So this can fit any standard two inch belt looped bag. So a gear up bag, ODM bag, pretty much any bag in the field right now. And the idea is that it's when you're not using it, it's out of the way, it's not bothering you. When you want to access your gear, you swing it around to the front, you can access your plugs, whatever's in there, and then slide it back around. So again, it's not in the way, it's not interfering with my fishing. It's not going to fall when you go down to pick up fish if you're catching anything. Um, so it's really just an overall a, uh, a, support, a weight support belt that's designed to carry plugs and equipment. 